What is your name and spell it? My name is Anne Ritchie, A-N-N-E-R-I-C-H-E-Y. And how old are you? 18. When did you start modeling? I started modeling when I was 16, which was the second semester of my sophomore year. And what made you decide to do it? Um, a lot of people were always asking me if I was a model, and photographers were always asking me like who my agency was because they wanted to work with me, but I didn't model. So um, I just went to an open call and got signed by my mother agency. What are your jobs as a model? Um, as a model, I walk on the runway, do photo shoots, and do like nail tests and hair tests and looks. Just a lot of various things. <laughs> what kind of work have you done so far with modeling? Um, so far I've done some local shoots um, in Indiana and in St. Louis and Chicago, but I've also recently went to New York to do Fashion Week. Cool. What are your favorite trends this fashion season? Um, this season, I really like the trend of flat shoes and sneakers um, because A, it makes it a lot easier for models to walk in in them and the runway, but it also, I think that, it, that they're really cute. Um, but I also like the trend of one earring, so no earring on this year and earring on this year just because I think it's unique and kind of funny. <laughs> What is one brand you really want to work with and why? I really want to work with Chanel because I think that it's such a classic brand and I think that Carl Lagerfeld as their creative director has really brought a lot to the brand and they've always kind of maintained the same image of being elegant yet stylish and I think that they're just a classic. Who is someone you look up to in the fashion industry? In the fashion industry, um, well, Chanel, like I just said, is my favorite designer and someone that I want to work for. I think that Coco Chanel is someone that I look up to because she really was a trailblazer in the fashion industry, bringing in men, having women wear menswear and breaking like the mold that women have to wear these tight corsets. So I think that she's definitely someone that I look up to, but model-wise, I look up to a lot of models. Um, I look up to Gigi Hadid and Kendall Jenner because uh, they've really been so successful, but also I know that they have a lot of social media influence and that is attributes to their um, them being so successful. And what are the common misconceptions you've learned about the fashion industry? One thing that I've learned about the fashion industry that not a lot of people would realize is that not everyone is so stone cold. You, like movies and the media portrays everyone in the fashion industry as being really heartless <laughs> and that's not the case. A lot of people that I've met have been super nice and have helped me and people that I really can confide in. So, yeah. And where do you want modeling to lead you? Um, well, I do plan on doing modeling for as long as I can and until I don't enjoy it anymore, but when I decide that I want to stop modeling, I do want to continue working in the high fashion industry, um, either doing marketing or PR because I think that those things are very interesting and would not be just like a boring desk job. <laughs> How do you prepare for a modeling shoot? Um, before a shoot, usually the week before, I'll make sure that I eat really healthy and work out and get a lot of sleep, drink a lot of water, just so physically I'm prepared. And then mentally, like the night before, I always like to just relax so that I'm very chill on a shoot because sometimes they can be very hectic and crazy. What type of clothing do you wear in photo shoots? There's like anything and everything that you wear. Um, in New York, a lot of the clothes were more masculine because they were like baggy and just they didn't have a lot of shape to them. But I've worn a lot of girly clothes too, so just anything really. Have you worn any designer clothes? 
Yeah, some of my favorite things that I've worn have been from Gucci and Valentino. And you can definitely tell that the quality of the clothes is a lot nicer <laughs> than non-designer brands. What is your favorite aspect of modeling? Um, my favorite aspect is that you're going to meet a lot of really cool people. Um, the fashion industry and the modeling industry is filled with a lot of people, not just models. Because at shoots you meet the photographers, the hair and makeup people, and I just think that the diverse amount of people in the fashion industry makes that really fun. What is your least favorite aspect of modeling? Um, I would probably have to say the rejection. <laughs> because it's not fun being told no and getting cut from something, but uh, the truth is that modeling is 90% rejection. So it's something that I'm kind of coping with. <laughs> Where have you traveled for modeling? Uh, I've been to St. Louis, Chicago. I've done things in Indianapolis, just like test shoots, like when I was developing, but recently I just was in New York. What were you doing in New York? I was in New York for New York Fashion Week. What were the Fashion Week casting process like? The casting process really starts like two or three weeks before the shows even start, so the models have to get there really early. And since it was my first season, I had to go through pre-castings, which means that you go to the casting director and they see all the girls, all the new girls, and then they kind of like choose which castings, of, like which designers the girls will see. But um, then you go to the casting, you usually change into like a little black dress or a body shoot and shorts, and then you have your heels and you walk for the casting directors and they take your picture. What were some of the designers that you interviewed for? Um, I interviewed for a lot of them but I did like fittings and I personally met the designers. I met Marc Jacobs, Vivian Tam, Zach Posen, I met Mary Kate and Ashley Olson who do the row. Uh, just a lot of people <laughs> really. What were some of the struggles in castings? Um, probably the wait definitely because sometimes they have you wait three hours in a casting just because there's so many girls that they have to get through but you kind of like start to second guess yourself in the, in the casting process because you see someone who looks very similar to you and you wonder like are they gonna choose me? Did, what did you learn from the overall casting experience? Um, I learned that to actually like when you actually see a model on the runway uh, there's so much work that goes into getting her there and I didn't realize that going into fashion week I thought I was just going to go and have a fitting at a designer and meet the designer and then walk on the runway but that's not the case there's a really long process that goes into each and every show and I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned is that just how long the process can take and how little of a chance that you actually have on getting on the runway so when you do it's really amazing <laughs> what are other modeling jobs do you plan to do in the future um in the future i plan to do fashion week again and then from that you can really do anything because fashion week is kind of like and it, like your introduction into the fashion world so from that hopefully campaigns and magazines and just all of the above anything really okay thank you